Hey everyone, here's a look at our heat map effects, our thermal LUTs pack. Revolutionize your imagery instantly. Get heat map effects and thermal looks that stun your audience. Thermal LUTs is like having 31 thermal lens filters in your camera bag for the price of one. A powerful tool in every creative's toolkit. Transforming your footage and photography with stunning thermal looks has never been easier. From the Predator thermal vision look to the surveillance camera effect, these super easy to use real thermal LUTs provide you with a great optionality no matter the medium. Each heat map effect has a different color gradient and vibrancy, allowing you complete customization of the perfect effect. The pack is compatible with all major video editing software from Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro X, DaVinci Resolve, and more. With that said, I'm going to walk you through how easy it is to add these heat map effects along with a few additional editing tips to tweak and customize these LUTs. Let's drop in. As always, if you're new here, consider subscribing to join the community. Leave a like, it helps us out big time with the YouTube algorithm and comment below what you would like to see next. When you download and unzip the pack, you're going to get all 31 thermal LUTs and dot cube files. And to use these in Premiere Pro, all you simply wanna do is go to your timeline. We have our footage here of some clips from the trailer. All we're going to do is add an adjustment layer on top of the video clips. And then you wanna to go to your effects panel and type in Lumetri Color. Drag and drop that on your adjustment layer. And then in the Creatives tab, you wanna to go to Look. You click the drop down menu you go to browse, and then you can browse to wherever the thermal LUTs are at and select it. So I'm going to, um, let's try thermal LUT number five and see what that looks like. Pretty cool original effects. You know, this really adds a lot of color and pop and um, just kind of like a psychedelic look to your video footage. Let's see what another one does. Let's try LUT number two. That looks pretty cool. That's the LUT that we used in the trailer. Cool, so pretty happy with that. Once you select the LUT that you would like, there are effects that you can add to kind of customize it a bit further. You can go into your levels, add the levels to your adjustment layer. I'm going to close down Lumetri Color, close down these other tabs. And in the levels, you have basically all your RGB controls. And so you can play with the different black and white inputs to get different strengths of kind of different colors and in different red, green, and blue spectrum looks. And you can kind of, so let's see what we do when we just change the, so that kind of just darkens it quite a bit on the blacks. If you go down to the red black input and change that, that one's really changing out those kind of purples and pinks in the background, as you can see. Um, if you go to the green black input, that's really affecting the majority of your kind of mid-tones right there. So you can kind of change it from a greenish to more of a blue if you would like, which looks pretty cool and unique. I kind of like that look, so I'm gonna leave that. Um, let's see what the black one does. What does this do? A little bit, so that kind of tweaks it even further, a little bit more darker green and changes out that blue to a black in the background like that, so I'll leave that there. And so that's really it. That's how simple and easy it is to add and customize these thermal looks to your video footage. You can always clip the adjustment layer, cut it, and add a different look. It's easy enough. So let's go ahead and change thermal LUT to, let's try 
try thermal at 25. There we go. That looks pretty sweet. And again, I'll just go into the levels and I will tweak these and customize it to exactly what I would like. So maybe I will, that kind of makes it a little bit more red. I'm gonna bring that back down to zero and I'm gonna change out one of the other uh, red, green, or blue spectrum levels. That one kind of changes the pinks a little bit more blue, which is kind of nice because it makes that ground pop a bit more. Do that and let's see what else in the green. Yeah, I like that look a lot. Awesome. Another thing you can kind of do is you can obviously just, if you want, add some keyframing in here to have it change color. So if you want, right? So let's, we changed out the green black input levels and the red black input levels. So we will just click the little stopwatch icon, set a keyframe there and scroll to the end of the clip and basically bring this back down to zero, both of them. Re-render. And we'll get that color shift on the clip as it plays out. Create a bit more of that organic thermal look. So yeah, really like that a lot. I'm gonna leave that. Do the same with this clip going to change out the green black inputs there. And I'm gonna bring that to the end of the clip and I'm gonna set another keyframe here and bring this back down to zero. As you can see that green shifts more to a blue by the end of that clip. It's a subtle shift, but something that you can do to just really kind of stylize your video clip even further. So have fun with this. We recommend checking out Aerochrome or Infrared Let's Pack the ultimate infrared effects with drag and drop ease. Give your photos and videos that unreal infrared look. Compatible with all software, each IR LUT has a slightly different amount of tone, tint, and saturation, allowing you complete customization of the perfect real infrared look. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you're new here, consider subscribing to join the community. Leave a like, it helps us out big time with the YouTube algorithm, and comment below what you would like to see next. And we'll catch you in the next one.